here's a, a trick that's worth knowing about because it can save you a, a lot of time. Uh, if you have a picture, an image, and you want to know where the image come from, uh, Google will actually let you uh, drop that image right on a search and, and find out where it came from. Uh, just as an example, here is a, uh, a photograph I took of my dog. I called it uh, Geeky Taffy. Uh, and let's say that uh, I want to know who on the internet's using my picture. It's uh, it's Creative Commons, so uh, it's no big deal to me if people use this picture. But I want to see if anyone's used this picture on the internet. So uh, I I've downloaded that picture. I go to Google Images, and all I do is I drag the picture and I drop it right here. So the first thing that Google does is it tries to uh, kind of categorize the photo. It's calling it hipster quirky. My dog is a quirky, so that's actually a pretty good uh, definition. Uh, and then it finds other people who have taken pictures of corgis uh, who are wearing glasses. Interesting. Uh, but notice it says there are about 165 results. If I scroll down, it turns out there's a lot of people who have used this particular picture of mine uh, on their page. And, and you can look through and you can see I know there's hundreds. Um, and all of them are some version of this uh, picture that I put out there. Uh, Creative Commons. So if you have a picture uh, and you're wondering, has anyone used my picture? Even if it's a picture you don't want people to use, if it shows you doing something you're uh, not interested in communicating on the internet, this is a way that, at least with Google, um, you can find all the pictures that Google thinks uh, look like the picture that uh, you're looking for.